Hey kids, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for math. In math today, you're going to learn how to use a 100 chart to count on from any number. Why should we bother learning about this? Let me tell you. In my hand, I have two cups. I know I have 13 in this cup. I wanna know how many I have in all. I could go back and count all of my pens, but I don't want to. And quite frankly, I don't need to. If I know that I have 13 here, I can start at that number and count on until I count the remainder of the pens, like this. I have 13, now I have 14, 15, 16, 17. I counted all of my pens, but I didn't need to go back and start at zero. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do this with even bigger numbers. So let's grab a 100s chart and learn. Let's say I wanted to start at the number 72 and count on until 91. I can use my hundreds chart by coloring in each number as I count up, like this. Start at the number 72 and then move to the right. 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. When I get to the end of the row, I need to return sweep down to the next row and start at the beginning. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Do you remember what I do when I get to the end of the row? You're right, I return sweep and go back to the number 91. And look, we did it. We started at 72 and counted up to 91. Let's try another one. For this one, I want to see if you can do it. What number are we starting on? You're right, the green number, 42. What number are we counting up to? You got it, we're counting up to the pink number, 60. What could I do to keep track of the numbers as I count? I, I could color in each box one at a time, moving left to right and top to bottom. Go ahead and see if you can do this. Pause the video and press play when you're ready to check. If you're ready to check, you should have said 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And that's it. That's how you use a 100s chart to count up from any number. Bye friends. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.